All right, welcome back to the Jason Gray Show. Let's go ahead and talk about Tesla and some of the things that are happening in the news with Tesla lately. All right, so they applied for a permit in Berlin at the Gigafactory to expand that space where they're able to add up to, sounds like up to a million vehicles on their expansion. Now, where the current footprint is, that was about a half million cars, and this will equal to about a million cars. Now, I, in my last video, I discussed that they can make that plant into a 2 million car factory at some point in time by their ability to make the changes on the next generation vehicles on how they produce the vehicles. So that plant, I don't think it's going to be, after they do it, the expansion, will be enough to make the 2 million, but then they'll have to do one more expansion. I think that'll get them up to the 2 million cars in the Gigafactory in Berlin. Exciting news. And, you know, if if the news keeps on saying that, that they're going to have issues on selling their cars, but if they're really going to have these issues, trust me, Elon and his team are smart enough to realize that they're not going to spend that money unless they really truly believe that the demand is going to happen. So you got Mexico going to be scraped. You know, you got the federal permits already approved. Um, you got a couple state permits that need to be done. And then after that, they're going to start breaking ground on that. They got to move a lot of dirt, but they think they can have those plants up and running in nine months. And so that means by early 2024, there's going to be something going on. And you got to think about the logistics of all this too. You know, it's not just about building the building. It's about getting all the stuff ready. So when the building is done to put everything in the building and get that production line started right away. And Tom Zhu has done a great job in China. You know, he's been in charge of helping revamping some of the stuff down in Fremont and Austin and Berlin. And this is his responsibility. And Tom Zhu even made another comment that I made in my previous video that they said they're going to build two gigafactories at the same time. So I said in my previous video, I think it's going to be Indonesia. When are they going to announce that? you know, that expansion. And like we we're talking about, that creates a lot of opportunity for a lot more vehicles to be sold in different parts of the world because they have different treaty agreements with other parts of the country. And so just think big here. Elon and his team have thought about the global piece on what this should look like. So exciting news for Tesla. The, the Wall Street hasn't factored this in. I know the stock has struggled a little bit. It's been really holding in around this 180 range. And um, really, truly think at the, by the end of this year, I think we're going to see a lot of pull in regards to that stock price, not only because of the amount of cars that they're producing, but about you know energy and how the energy storage word is going to start coming out about the profitability on that and how that could become even more profitable than the car piece of the puzzle. So this weekend, they're going to roll out full self-driving uh, to the masses. Right now, they have a very small pool of people that are utilizing the new version, the 11.3.1 version. This is the full stack version. Uh, this will help us, you know, uh, drive better on the freeways and the reports out and the videos that I've seen so far, it talks about how, you know, just the acceleration and the more natural feeling the car has in regards to real life environments on the streets. Um, they do say the braking aspect of it, uh, stopping at a stop sign <coughs> lasts really like a, a two Mississippi, a one Mississippi, two Mississippi, then turns. And we're all used to sort of coming up to a stop sign slowing down and then rolling into a turn and not technically stopping a lot of times. So I think that is feeling a little bit odd and that's okay. I'd rather be safe than sorry. And as, if, as more cars hit the road and more people are doing the full self-driving, that's just going to become more the norm. And I know that as they release these versions, they'll continue to tweak the versions. Every time they do a, a, a version release, we all see improvements on it. And I, I, I might, I joke that, I hate driving a, our, my truck, for example, because I have to drive the car. And when I'm, when I'm in the Tesla, I've turned the full, full self-driving on. Do I still have to pay attention? Does my hand still have to be on the wheel? Does it nag me every 30 seconds to make sure I'm actually paying attention? Yes, but that's okay. But it, the, the, the enjoyment of driving your car is way more of the full self-driving. So anyways, let's see what happens over the next couple of weeks on the stock price. If you have any questions for me or comments, Please uh, listen below, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my video. Talk to you soon.